Good morning and welcome back to Tabletop Tuesday here on Gaming with ADHD, where today we're going to take a look at Eleminis. It is a card game for two to eight players, ages four and up. Now, the reason we're going to take a look at this is because it is November. We've got the holidays coming up and a lot of times people are looking for games to buy for their kids. And especially when you've got smaller gamers, it can be difficult to find something that they can play, but that you're going to have to play with them, so you want something that you enjoy. So, before we get started, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I do try to put out a few videos each week covering all sorts of tabletop gaming content from board games, miniatures, role-playing games, and everything in between. And for the month of November, I'm covering games for younger players. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of these suggestions. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at how Eleminis plays, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the game itself. All right, so the game consists of a deck of about 80 cards where you have five different elements, air, rock, water, fire, and plant. You have two special element cards, the star and the trash. And then you have four action cards, swap, discard, move, and recycle. The objective of the game is to get a complete set of all five elements. Now, it doesn't have to be acquired in any particular order, but in order to win the game, you need to have all of the elements on the table. Alternatively, you may have a star to take the place of any element that you don't have. Okay. Now, if for some reason you end up with the trash, that is a special card that will have to be gotten rid of in order to win the game because you can only have five cards in front of you but that is where our action cards are going to come in so let's take a look at how this works so i'm gonna set these here and we've got our deck of cards. So on your turn, you're going to draw one of the cards and then you have to decide what you're going to do with this card. Now you can trade it to, or not trade it. Sorry. You can either keep it yourself and put it into play. So in this case, I only have four cards in or three cards in play. So I can just put the other rock in play or I can force another player to take it. If I want to force another player to take it, then um, I have either they have to have an open space in their row, or as you can see on the bottom of the card, there are elements in which the card is stronger. So I could use my rock to replace either a plant or a fire. And so like in this case, I could come in and replace the plant in somebody else's row. So thereby making it a little bit more difficult for them to complete their set. Uh, if for some reason I can't play the card, then it does get discarded and my turn is over. Now, if I draw one of the action cards, so actually let's start with this. Let's say I end up with the trash. So, if you'll notice, the trash is strong against all the elements except for the star. So, I could come in against anyone and I could replace the plant with the trash. Now, on my turn, if I end up with a star, I can get rid of the trash. Uh, and, you know, that's one way to get rid of it. Or I can use one of the action cards. So if it's the recycle card, which now I feel dumb because I don't remember. Um, 
All right, actually, let's start with the move card. So on a move card, I could take the trash and I could send it to another player. With the swap card, I could take the trash or any other card, to be honest with you, but we're using the trash in this example. And I can give it to somebody else and take a card from them in return. So we're swapping the cards. I can also just discard. So I can play the discard and just get rid of the trash. Or I can recycle where I can get rid of the, the card and take an extra turn. So I end up with, in this case, with an extra water. But play continues around the circle. Everybody is allowed to make suggestions or help the other players, you know, advise, hey, this person's getting close, things like that. So uh, you keep going until, again, somebody has a complete set of the elements at which point the game ends. Now, in this case, uh, more than likely you're going to be able to play a game in probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, to be honest with you, this game was sort of an impulse buy. We were going to have a, I think she was five at the time, at our house on New Year's Eve. And uh, she'd been coming over for a while with her mom and kind of felt like she was always being excluded and so her mom was you know a little concerned about that and so my wife and I went out to find a game that she would be able to play um on new year's eve uh there are not a lot of suggestions if you don't know where to look uh but we happened to find elaminis and to be honest with you it was a really big hit uh, for everyone involved, you know, she, the, the young girl, uh, was able to play. She actually, it, it took her a little while to pick it up, but with the adult help, she was very much able to, you know, to recognize what she needed to do to put her, her, her pattern together, collect her set, but also take advantage of those take that elements. She understood that if she got, uh, a card that she didn't need that she could give it to somebody else and you know cause some difficulty for them so uh you know as far as the age appropriateness uh, you know absolutely this game is fantastic for kids to play but even as adults it was something that for us before we got into some of the heavier games that we were going to play uh that evening this was a nice little warm-up. We got to have fun with the small child and play the game. So uh, if you can find this one, I absolutely recommend it. It was very inexpensive. Um, it's it's very cute, designed for, again, little kids. Uh, you know, so it's no scary animals, you know, anything like that. Um, just cute little drawings that they can relate to. And I absolutely recommend it. So... Have you played Elaminis? Let us know down in the comments. Uh, love to hear from you. What is your experience with it? Uh, yeah, but overall, I highly recommend this if this is something that you would like for a small child. So thanks for watching, and we will talk to you next time.